guys, we're going to show you how to calculate net force and interpret free body diagrams. This is our first example. How many forces are acting on this monkey? Hopefully you said two, because there are two forces acting on this monkey. Okay. Our next step is, is we're going to ask ourselves, are our forces or our arrows pointing in the same direction or opposite direction? They are in opposite directions. So when our forces are acting in an opposite direction, we're going to subtract the forces. You're going to subtract the smaller force from the larger force. But in this example, because they're both the same number, it doesn't matter. So we're going to take 5 newtons minus 5 newtons. And what should we get? Zero newtons. Our net force for this example equals zero newtons. Anytime we have a net force that equals zero newtons, we can see that this force is balanced. What does that mean? It means that the object will continue doing what it's doing. Okay, it can either be sitting still, and it will stay sitting still, or it will continue at the same velocity. That is going the same speed and direction. All right, here is another example of a free body diagram. So let's first ask ourselves, how many forces are acting on our monkey car? Hopefully, you said two forces. Our next uh, question we need to ask ourselves is, are the forces moving in the same direction or opposite directions? Hopefully, you said opposite directions since these arrows are pointing opposite ways. Since they are in opposite directions, we are going to subtract our two forces from each other. Make sure you subtract the smaller force from the larger force. So we're going to take our larger force, 15 newtons, and then subtract our second force, which is 10 newtons. When we subtract 15 minus 10, what would we get? Hopefully you said, five newtons. So we have five newtons for our answer and now we want to figure out which direction. So to figure out uh, which direction the force is in, you need to look at where the larger number is pointing. So for the instance we have 15 newtons going to the left and here we have 10 newtons going to the right. So since we have a larger force going to the left, our direction would be five newtons left. Because our answer is not zero newtons, we know that the forces are unbalanced. What could this mean? Well, hopefully you said that the monkey car could be accelerating. Which means the monkey could be changing speed or direction. So we have a change in speed or direction. And, or, can't see that, direction. <laughs> wow, what do we have going on here? So let's first think, how many forces do we have acting on our monkey parachute? I'm sure you identified two forces. Again, two forces. Next, we will ask ourselves, what direction are the forces acting in? Are they in the same direction or in opposite direction? Same, you're right, they are acting in the same direction. 
When forces are acting in the same direction, you will add the forces in order to determine the net force acting on the car. So in this case, we're going to calculate net force equals, we have 8 newtons plus 2 newtons, and that will give us a total of 10 newtons. Of course, we need to determine the direction of the net force. Well, both forces are uh, direction up, so we could say 10 newtons up. What does this mean for the monkey? Well, since the force is not zero newtons, the forces are unbalanced. Whenever the force is unbalanced, it means the object is accelerating. Accelerating. And acceleration means change in speed or change in direction. Let's take a look at this free body diagram. How many forces are acting on this monkey? Hopefully you said three forces. Whenever we have more than two forces, we have to break them up. First, we're gonna look up and down, and then we're gonna look left and right. So our first two forces are acting in opposite directions, so we're gonna subtract them to find our net force. Fifteen newtons minus fifteen newtons, and that gives us a net force of zero newtons. Whenever we have a net force of zero newtons, we know that it is balanced, and it's going to continue doing what it's doing. In this case, canceling each other out. Now we're going to look at our next force. Our final one. We have six newtons going to the left. So we, it's the only force that's acting on the car in our left and right direction. So we can see that our net force is six newtons left. Whenever we have a net force that is not zero, we know that this force is unbalanced. When a force is unbalanced, that means it will accelerate. Which means again, changing in speed or direction. For our last example today, we have our two penguins that are both going to exert a force on this rope, so similar to tug of war. We have uh, one penguin pulling with a force of 20 newtons to the left, and then one penguin pulling with 9 newtons of force to the right. Go ahead and show us what you've learned. All right, well hopefully you saw that we have two forces and they're acting in opposite directions. So you should have subtracted them. And remember, we're always going to keep that larger number first. So 20 newtons minus 9 newtons. And if you subtract those, you would get 11 newtons. The last thing we need to do is add direction. So which direction is that force going to be in? And again, we're going to go with the larger force. So we'll be going to the left. So it's 11 newtons left. This is an unbalanced force, so speed and or direction is going to be changing. Nice job. All right, after all these examples, please rate your understanding. One, I need more help. Two, I am feeling comfortable but could use more practice. Or three, I am the net force master. Well, choose one of those options. Thank you for all your hard work and thank you for watching our video.